Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. So last time we struggled a little bit, well, not too much, but struggled a little bit against Germany and the Reichspact, but now we are not in a, fe in a federation, we're not in a faction, but the Imperial Federation is looking pretty darn nice with all that political power, and we are poised to go to war now with the good, the old Russian Empire? No, just Russia. Which, they still don't own Vladivostok for some reason, but you know what? That's okay. Actually, they kind of do, since it is a puppet of Russia under Alexander. They're in the common turn first. This is a very weird mod. People's Council? Well, I guess it makes sense that they are in the common turn, but it's time to have a good time. We have the Baltic Order. Actually, let's show you guys this first. So they're led by Tarmo Rink, Georgi Nebogatov, Mr. Smiley Man, and then Anton Zavoyko. Zavoyko. Cool. Go to war, maybe call in our allies, because for some reason, even though I call my ally allies in, they don't come in, but yeah, no, whatever. Uh, American state. Whatever. Cool. And I'm also joined here with my cat, Binky, who is enjoying the floor right now. And, uh, what happens? Can we win a battle, maybe, using our 12 heavy tanks? Hopefully. And I do have a cup of something unique, very different than something I've never had before. A cup of green, oh no, guava ginseng green tea. Getting really fancy on us today. I know. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, might consider helping them out. I don't know how good these things are. I did put a lot of air. Uh, oh, okay. Well, China's killing itself. But a lot more uh, air superiority, airplanes, fighters, honor guys. So, we'll see how that works out for us. If we can break through here, that'd be really awesome. Even though this is actually probably one of the worst spots to take out what's going on. Um, yeah, no, I'm in the middle of a war. Yeah, no. Uh, well, that sucks. I don't mind if you rebel, I really don't. But, uh, not when I'm in the middle of a war. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why are you guys moving around so much now? Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, well. I dealt with it appropriately. Uh, cool, but... Oh, okay, they are abandoning the line a little bit. I guess try and attack, see what you can do. Some areas will be great, some areas will really not be great, but, you know, we'll find holes, we'll find ways to do stuff. Let's see, let's take a look at them before we go too far. So they got a million manpower, which is quite a bit. Up to 188 divisions, stockpile is, well, we don't really know. Spy-wise, let's, let's spy on them a little bit. Moscow seems like a nice place to be in December. Not really at all, actually, but, you know, we'll go, roll with that, thank you. Take a few glosses, but, you know, whatever. Tanks are looking, you know, pretty decent. Not great, yeah, like, Oh, Hivor tanks. Eh, okay, Panzer Expert will be very nice. But, eh, we'll see what happens, you know. You never know. Cool, I, and I apologize for the last episode, or the last few episodes, where I, where I was really ranty. I might still be ranty this episode. Right now, I'm not. It just depends on how poorly we do on the front. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I, I won't be too ranty. I apologize for that again, but, you know, it is what it is. We're doing really well, though. I'm really liking how fast we can push into Russia. Um, these are oh, yeah, all Russia's cores that we're attacking, but, you know... I'm kind of okay with what we're doing right now. Kind of okay with it. Cool. Herbert or Henry. Uh, sure, you can move a little fast if you like. Looking pretty good. Oh, Herbert. Good old Herbert. Leader of our country and a field marshal. What more could you ask for, Herbert? Love it. And we're doing air production too, which is okay. Um, I think we're pretty much done with our focus tree at this point. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do here. We don't need any more political power as well. So it is what it is, my friends. Uh, no thanks. And we shall throw you guys over here. Oh, there's a little French fleet right there. Yeah, very nice. And we're still trying to do convoy raiding around here. Um, I don't think we really... We, uh -huh. Maybe take that off. Maybe take that off, take that off. Come all the way over here as well. Very nice. We're doing really well. I mean, yeah, we're not winning everywhere. But, you know, that's okay. You can't always win everywhere. We can make a giant heavy tank, which I probably won't, to be honest with you. We're done with that stuff. So howitzers, mortars. Uh, maybe get some anti-air. You can put them on our ships. That's always nice to do stuff with our ships. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we're doing actually this well, just because we took so long with the U.S. We took so long with Germany, or at least I took so long with Germany. How strong are your divisions? I mean, they have support artillery and in, uh, engineers, but even then, it doesn't seem like it's enough. And these guys, I mean, they're 40 combat with. Yeah, they're pretty darn strong, but never forget your air power. That's all I gotta say, I guess. All right. Oh, wrong group. Oh, I did put the horses here, too. That's kind of... Oh, no wonder you're doing so well down there. Yeah, fighting up here with tanks, probably not the smartest decision I've ever had, just because 
there's probably a lot of swamps in this area of Russia. Now, I've never been in Russia, never lived in Russia, so uh, I think that's what I've read in history books. It's very swampy up there. If that's the case, I might just send these guys down here, actually. Eh, yeah, supply's still pretty darn bad, though. Karsk. Make sure we get a lot of supply through here. Tons of supply. I mean, supply's probably going to be the most important thing. And I am building using over, like, 170 factories for tanks, so... 15, almost 170, almost 170. Perfect, perfect. Use it. Less damage to us, please. Thank you. You know what? We'll do Japan too, because we can. How strong is the Japanese army? I did say I did not want to invade them, and I still don't. Oops. Oh, I might still invade them. Okay, 10 to 22 division. That's not bad. We would need a very good place to dock, though. Or to naval invade from. The T here is pretty good. Pretty good. Cool. Petrograd is in within size. We've lost 160,000 soldiers versus half a million. Oh, I'm liking this, man. Uh, make sure we got enough air bases because that's going to help us with our uh, victories. Air bases all over the place. Uh, do I doubt we have enough information on their. Uh, well, we have a little bit on their templates. So they have 20 combat with artillery eng and engineers. Um, three. Well, that's really. Why? Well, it must be like the divisions that were made when they were in the Civil War. You know, or against the Soviets. Three battalions? That's really bad. Mountaineers aren't too bad. Cavalry kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, that's not bad either. It's not great, but you know, that's, that's a little surprising. Not gonna lie. It's a little surprising, but okay. Ah, oh, another tank division. I love tanks. Well, I love tanks when they work. Hey, we got Petrograd. Happy Petrograd Day. I guess. Cool. Oh, wait. Are we not at war with Japan? Oh, I, that's right. I also, at the end of last episode, pieced out with Japan separately because I didn't want to de deal with them. So you know what? I might just invade Japan, too. I, I said I wouldn't, but maybe I will. Depending on how well this war goes with Russia. Which it is seeming like it's going very, very well. At least their max amount of divisions has dropped by 50. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. Pretty good. Hmm. Cool, cool. These guys are definitely struggling up in the north. The south is looking just god tier. With these horses, Hugh... Not doing too bad, huh? Right, I'm going to concentrate you guys around here. There's only God here because we probably have enough airplanes. I'll um, do that too. Tons and tons of infrastructure building built. We're going to need even more though. Build... I, actually, you know, what am I doing? Let's go to construction engineering. We need to build airplanes. We'll build airplanes like normal, but... Infrastructure is what we really need. Hey! We got carriers over here too. Nice. You guys, light cruisers, you guys have quite a few heavy ships over there. Heavy ships, capital ships. Um, what are you guys up to? Are you probably repairing? Cool. Have you all repair. And Mexico, do you want to give me stuff? Or Belgium? Or who the heck is that? I don't know. It looks really kind of cool, though. Is that your... No, that's a cool flag for Ukraine. National Belarus. No. That's a really... These are some really awesome flags. Made by Olev. Nice. These guys are cut off as well. We might just release a Russian puppet probably under us. That might be best. Oh, they're out. oh, that's part of the white movement. Oh, we could kill them off, but I'm not really interested in doing that. Moscow looking good. Oh yeah, you guys go go right ahead. Keep it up. Signal companies that I'm not going to use. Very nice. Some more rubber, perhaps. We are getting quite a bit of steel. Thank you. We need any more from you guys? There you go. Less dependency on our allies. That's always good. More factories. Just put them at the bottom. Uh, yeah, just make more guns, I guess. That'd be fine. Oh, giant heavy tanks. You know what? For the funnies? For the funnies. For this? There you go. Make some giant heavy tanks. Now we're out of chromium. Whatever. Uh, do we still have extra... No, we don't have extra factories. Cool. Nice. So how much do we have to do to capitulate these guys? They've lost quite a few guys. They've lost 1.3 million. I've lost quite a few. Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, who is in the white movement? Oh, there goes the Chinese government. One of them. This tea's quite interesting. Hmm. It's quite interesting. Yeah, I don't want to get, declare war on the white movement. Uh, the Reichs Pact is now the Empire of Japan. That's funny. Cool. What can we do with our political power then? Great Indian sections. And we get to continue expanding this, which would be, be 
pretty much fine with me. We can do that. Uh, not really much else. Military training, paramilitary training, create a collaboration government. Uh, the Ukraine's in a civil war right now. That's not bueno. Kharkov? Oh, they're allied with them. That's fine. You know, I'll pull you guys off then. I'm not sure they have any divisions. That wouldn't be good if they did, but whatever. Go ahead and come down here. Free territory joining Russia. Ah, the anarchist Russia. That was with that flag under Makhno. Very historical. Well, maybe not in 1924. Well, maybe in 1924. I don't know that much about Eastern European history in 1924. But whatever. <sighs> don't think it's really going to affect us too much. I could be wrong. But I don't think it will. Cool. Infantry expert. Thank you. And there goes the Ukraine. Beautiful. Time for a free territory. Literally free territory. It's almost like a commune. Huh. Russia. I doubt Russia can really keep this up. We've lost how many? Not even half a million yet. Cool. Moscow is ours. Beautiful. And there goes the free territory. Great news. We have pushed very hard into the enemy territory quite easily. I like this. And the horses did great. Just in case, I'm going to put you guys in the southern area. You guys can just expand like crazy. Nice. And I doubt we need a more territory to capitulate them. Nope. I was going to re require quite a bit of territory from Russia itself just to get rid of. You guys like come down here maybe? No? Alright, well, whatever. Struggle as much as you want. Hold. Cool. Build, build, build. We need Niznizh Novgorod. Cool. Good lord. My extensive conscription. Limited conscription. Uh, 3.5%. We could. Get some more bonuses to constructing stuff. How much strength do they have left? It's time to unite? What does that do? Annex war goal against white, white Russia. Okay, well, good luck with that. Very much good luck. Hmm, power gain. Uh, infrastructure. I'm going to switch to infrastructure. I like this, but let's build stuff up as fast as possible. Medium bombers. You know what? Let's give medium bomber fours. And any penalties? Yes, to reliability, which kind of sucks. That's okay. There you go. There you go. Someone is wounded. Anti-air. Sure, throw them on there if we need them. Don't think we really will. And that's okay. You guys, we'll go with better blimps, because we can. Any new shippies? Yes, we do. And another carrier? We'll throw you on here, then. Pushing very harshly through here. Let's go and redeploy the line first. See what happens. I'll let everyone else continue pushing. Nej, no, nah, we good, man. We good. Three, two, good enough. Go ahead. Rubber processing, very nice. Do we need any more rubber? Do we need to import any more? Uh, here? That's okay. We'll keep it with Mexico for now. I can't imagine these guys hold on for that much longer. Um, let's redo that again. Be very nice. They have less than 100 divisions. So they've taken 2 million casualties. We've taken about a third of a million. Not too bad. Uh, what's their stockpile like? we got quite a few airships. Quite a bit of infantry equipment as well. Armored cars, not too bad. They're running out of artillery, though, which is nice. Yaroslavl. Cool. Yeah, we're just bum rushing them in the in the rear or in the rear of the south. Uh, yeah, close enough. Uh, yeah, well, kind of. These guys would move up. I know supply. Oh yeah. Oh god, level one out of ten. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of supply issues. You know what? With these tanks here, they're taking up too much supply. I will retreat you guys and force you guys to come to here. I wonder if we're gonna get caught. I hope not. Try that. This way we get less supply issues, and infantry are still very good with enough planes, so. Um, 
The yellow, oh, the cavalry isn't looking good. That's nice. Any other upgrades? No, that's okay. We'll do, we'll be fine. We just give it time. Uh, goodbye. Nice. Head on over there, because we will invade Japan. Yeah, Imperial Federation looking pretty nice in Africa. Pretty darn nice. More fuel gain per oil? Yes, please. Ah, an infantry division, good. Hey, someone became, what was that? An infantry thingy, my bob? A skilled leader. Skilled staffer, actually. Very good. Oh, God. We're out of... Mo oh, that's not good. We're out of motorized, actually. Wow. You know what? Go up to 20 for that. There you go. Boom. How much armor does this have? So, if I switch this out with a super heavy... Oh, my God. You get 31 more armor. Holy crud. Hmm. We're going to call this too big. All right. Can you imagine 40 super heavy combat with... Super heavy tank combat with ta uh, tankies like this? Oh, my goodness. I don't think I'll be able to make this in time, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Too big. That's a lot of armor. Holy crud. 104 compared to these guys, which is 30. Oh my god. What's the point of using that if we get 104? Oh my goodness. Nice. This definitely helps out supply, probably. Moving the tanks around here. Oh yeah. What do you mean, never fight a land war in, in Russia or Asia? It works out sometimes. Totally can. Oh, yeah. Especially if you've got good cavalry. Uh, uh, Jabal Shamar? Probably not. Probably not, man. I'm sorry, but freedom? You don't deserve freedom. Especially where you're headed. Not saying that I know where you're headed, but you know what I mean. Cool. Get some more of those bad boys. Have the dudes showing up here? Yes, and they're suffering from attrition. Of course, as they always should be, right? Cool. So, we're going to split you guys up. We should have enough task forces to make our way to Japan proper, to Nagasaki. Cancelled land lease, whatever. You guys come from Saigon? Hmm, I don't want to really jeopardize my guys too much. You guys come there. Come from Hanoi? Or the port around Hanoi. Show up in Hiroshima. Uh, processing. I don't know if we can throw any more guys on here. So I'll throw one, kind of a token group, to take out Taiwan. More cap retention, very cool. I'm a little surprised that Russian People's Republic, oh goodness, hasn't capitulated yet, but they're almost there. They're almost there. Give it a little bit more time, we'll be there soon enough. Boost Earth. Yeah, definitely build that up as fast as possible. Get that cavalry in there. This northern side is very really hard to cut through, but that's okay. Hey, Binky, yeah, you doing okay? Yeah, come on. You want one chair? Come on, Bink, come on. Come on. All right. Come on, Binky, so we can kill off Russia. Yeah, yeah jump on that chair. And we have a blimp. A North Sea class blimp. Let's get Airship Bomber 3. No special names, just class 3. Man, this guava ginseng green tea. This is some special, man. This is some special tea. So nice. Cool, I think these invasion plans will probably look probably be okay. I'm gonna put you guys over here, just so that supply isn't isn't gonna become a massive issue. Also, we gotta make sure we got bigger ports, we can get enough supply through here anyways. So there you go, there you go. Do two more, there you go. 
or at least one more. Cool. Supply issue. Where's the biggest bottleneck? You know, with this campaign, I've ranted a lot in this campaign, and I'm I thank you to everyone who's watching. Like you went through my rants and you stick around or stuck around. I really appreciate it, guys. But this has really taught me where to look for supply issues. North, northern, Malay, Singapore. Um. All right. Well, we got to build up stuff here then. There you go. Tons of ports, tons of factories. Just working on roads. Don't worry if the enemy shoots at you. Just focus on the roads and stuff like that. Cool. Actually, supplies doing much better here. Much, 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 much better. Oh, do we win? Hey, we've won, my friends. We have won the war. Uh, free territory. I'm just going to go ahead and say take all states. You guys take all states as well. It's going to be a lot of states to cover. And Ukraine? Well, I'll probably... Hey, there they go. And I shall gladly give you this, my little puppeted friend. Cool. And I might just release... Oh, the health vaccine. Probably don't need to do that. I might just release these guys. Maybe, depending on how bad... So far. Are we worth these guys as well? Um, You know, at this point, I don't really care. I'm just going to straight up annex them. Because if they're a puppet, they honestly should just be under us. Let's be real. Thank you. Cool. Can I release Russia? <sighs> the Namib Empire, that's kinda cool. Polish Republic. Republic of Vietnam. Oh, there there. I didn't do this to the Germans because the Germans were pretty evil. But um Russians? They put up a good fight. We'd like to have them on our side, probably. Very good, very good. And Russia is back. The second Russian Empire. Not the first, not the second, but led by a balding man, Vladimir Purushkevich. Cool. You know what would be really weird? If I had cavalry also invade? That'd be really weird. Oh, we can't do it. We gotta do more research for that stuff first. Cool. Alright, let's go and just fight on these guys. Oh, the Imperial Federation looking pretty thick in the middle there. You know what? Um, uh, an invade. Are these guys out? No, they're us. They're under us. Who is not under us? There's a German nation sort of here. Um, hmm. Because these guys are allied with somebody. Papa New Guinea. Oh, New Guinea, who cares? The part of the Reich's pack, no one cares. Um, yeah, not bad. Send all you guys here. Cool. Cool. And I did begin justifying, right? Yeah, I did. That's good. So we got a little bit of time here. Time to hang out. Time to build up ports. Ports. All that good stuff. Good. And we need to get our guys down here too anyway, so. Uh, planes probably would be pretty darn important. Hopefully this doesn't go on too long. I can't imagine it does. Japan in this mod so far... Doesn't really like building its stuff up too much. So actually now we can do this, this, this. Excuse me guys. Thank you. Do this, 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 this. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Perfect. And another tank, yes please. And once we get another research slot, we will be able to research some other stuff. Very good. Don't want to forget this. Oh, you only. Wow, it goes from 10 to 50, pretty much. Wow. Anti air machine guns. Well, those are nice. Oh, man, we're going to need more repair. Oh. There you go. That should be pretty good. Yeah. That takes a light to long wire. Okay, so we got multiple naval bases are working on repairing multiple ships, which is kind of nice. We must have been hit by a lot of things. And you know what? Let's go with Operation Compass. Nice. Look at all the stuff being repaired. Look at all these light cruisers. Some of them aren't really that damaged too badly. Nice. Keel repairing our heavy ship. A couple days left. That's not bad. Blimps. Now we kind of good. I could release another nation here though. Oh, you guys are all just kind of hanging out for now. Um, nice. You guys, how about y'all? Border Romania. 
Ah, so yes, I did give all of Yugoslavia pretty much to the French state because, well, I thought it'd be good enough. I thought it'd be interesting enough. On another tank called an infantry division. Interesting. Mm, interesting. Are you guys still suffering from supply issues? No. Looking good. Looking very good. Supply. What is the biggest issue for supply down here now? Port in northern Malay. Hmm. Well, okay then. Airship bombers? Strategic bombers? Sure, why not? Hey, look at that. We can lower the autonomy of a subject. Second Russian Empire can already be reduced. You bet we're going to reduce them. Bhutan. Look at all these puppets we got. It's a beautiful thing, my friends. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Any more ships? Yes, we got two more. Mm, that's pretty good already. This has four capital ships, 21 screens is good enough. This has way too many screens, not enough thingies. There you go. You know, if I was Japanese right now, I'd be like, uh, UK? Or Imperial Federation? What are you doing? Why do you have all your ships? There's so many ships surrounding us. What is that? Actually, do these Chinese places have any unique focus trees? That'd be really cool if they each had like a ch unique Chinese focus tree to take each other out. Or at least slightly unique, you know. I think that'd be really, really cool. Hugh, do you have anything for us? No, you're actually very well developed, though. Developed? Awesome. Now we can put more guys on our ships. Or more guys on naval invasions. When the tanks and the cavalry both invade you at the same time, it's a little weird. Hopefully we can be successful. I really hope so. And I hope that you hope that I'm going to be successful with this naval invasion. We need to get at least one area under us. One port. Go straight for the capital. There you go. You guys can come from here. Hmm. We could invade this area too. Maybe, yeah, maybe invade Busan because we can. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it twice. And invade Kochi. Because we can. You know what? This? I'm going to send you guys over here. Yeah, send a small group. There you go. 12 divisions might be too much, but that's okay. Cool. Everyone is trained if you need it. Don't, hopefully we don't need it. Oh, so that's your flag. You guys are kind of the sort of swirlies. Sort of. Machine tools five, it's fine, just like a time go on. Build some more fortifications. I've done that not at all in this campaign, which is fine with me. Industrial wide integration. You know what? We got enough fire. Let's do it anyways. Create a bunch of different theaters. Using a lot of civilian factories. South for Japan is done. We can go to war with Taiwan. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this stuff. I, don't, I want to release one central Af African, central Asian area over there. Oh, there you go. We are poised to go and have a good time. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're just playing on Russia? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they do on the northern Sakhalin Islands. That kind of sucks. Forgot about that completely. Oh, well. Hopefully, they won't be too bad to take over. So, nice. We've begun in naval invading and sinking a lot of Japanese convoys. Hey, we've landed actually in a port. Pretty good. Take them out. Actually, you know what? Surround them completely, so they have to use um. They need convoys to get in here. Good. Okay, we don't need to do that. Cool. I might recommend holding onto the port, maybe. Awesome. Good. We're counting a little bit of struggles around here. At least we took Tokyo. Take the port. Don't lose too much. Head on down to Nagasaki, Kokoda. Head up this way as well. Uh, you guys head up that way. Link up with these guys, but really, what you're going to do is come this way. Just take all this extra little tile stuff. That'd be kind of nice. Hey, we got Nagasaki too. Cool. Cool, and you'll sneak around that way. Very nice. Very good. Well, half of Japan is pretty much going to be under us very, very soon. Oh, we might not be able to win over here. That's a little disappointing, but you know what? I think we're doing pretty well anyways. Pretty darn awesome. And they can't do a thing. Good. There you go. Improve equipment conversion. 
Cool, look at that. Beautiful. You guys are suffering from supply issues. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we probably couldn't take the port up there. Eh, we're still fighting for it, though. Go ahead. See what you can do. Spread out, spread out, spread out. Yeah, maybe except for Tokyo. We'll rescue you, Tokyo people. Oh, we actually landed down here, too. That's okay. Go ahead. You probably will be fine. Uh, they've lost 76,000. We've lost 167. Not bad. That's pretty good, I'd say. That's pretty good. You guys are still struggling. We might actually get the port up here. You know what? If that's the case... Force attack? Can you force attack here? No, you can't. That sucks. Oh, the tank's forcing attacking. That's not too bad. Yeah. Sendai will be ours soon. Not enough command power. How much do we get every day? 1.15. 1.15. Yeah. Words. Difficult. Harsh. Yes. Big words. Not small words. Small words. And we can hit enemies' ships a little bit more easily. Or, you know, hit them harder, actually. Just hit them more harshly. So when will they capitulate? Ah! They just capitulated! I mean, I guess that's going to end this campaign. I'm sorry I was so ranty earlier in this campaign. It was just kind of struggly. A little struggle. But that looks pretty good. We took out most of the Reich's Pact. Maybe not all of it. Papua New Guinea. Whatever. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like for the campaign. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.